what are some of the things that move you throughout the day? And by move, I mean the things that might shake your obedience to the Lord or cause you to lose focus on what truly matters. For me, unfortunately, it could be something as simple as a spilled cup, my kids arguing, or simply not being able to find that pair of shoes my daughter needs to wear and we end up late getting out the door. Some days it seems as though I start the day off strong, but as the hours tick by, my obedience weakens and I feel less anchored. I get swayed by the little frustrations of life. And the days that I don't begin with the Lord and his word, those are the hardest for me to remain steadfast. You'd think I'd have learned by now that those days rarely go well. There's no excuse for our disobedience. And I'm so thankful for a God who is immovable and at work in our homeschools, even when we waver. The Bible reminds us in 1 Corinthians 15, 58. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. How encouraging is it to know that when we are steadfast in teaching God's word to our children, when we keep going, that our efforts have eternal significance. Unlike a math or literature lesson that will eventually stop being significant, work that we do for the Lord matters for eternity. And even on the hard days when things move us or challenge our patience, we can trust that God sees our labor and it's never in vain. Standing firm requires daily intentional Bible study so we can cling to his promises. It requires seeking the Holy Spirit to help us demonstrate God's love and grace, even in the midst of the little storms each day may bring. So this week, let's pray to remain steadfast in the Lord, letting nothing move us from our calling and fully giving ourselves to the work he has set before us knowing that it's all for his glory and never in vain. Let me pray for us. Heavenly Father, thank you for your unchanging, unwavering word that I can cling to and for the assurance that any work done for you is not in vain. I desire to give myself fully to your calling on my life for your praise and glory. Reveal to me any shortcomings standing in my way and help me to honor you in steadfast obedience. There are so many things that take up our time and attention each day that will cease to have meaning before we know it. Help me to remain focused on things that have eternal value. Energize me with your spirit as I teach and train my kids to know, love, and serve you. Give me the strength to remain steadfast and enthusiastically fulfill what you call me to do in our homeschool each day. I pray that I would keep my heart set on you and that my life and work would be a reflection of your grace, goodness, and love. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Thank you so much for joining me for week 43 of the Homeschool Prayer Challenge. I would love to pray for you this week, so drop a comment below if you would like to share any prayer requests or anything from your heart. And head to the Prayer Challenge dashboard if you'd like to print out a copy of this prayer this week. And I will see you next time.